Hi, I'm Kartha Gewert and this is Only Friend. Only Friend is actually doing a lot better. So today we're going to celebrate by making some bento boxes. It's back to school and back to school like isn't really relevant to me because I've been out of school for so long, but Sulhi Jessica is popping off with the bentos. I have to make them because it's the most oddly satisfying thing ever. Okay, so for this first one, I'm really excited and I got like a little rice ball maker just for it because I love rice balls. So she like puts the rice in here and shakes it and apparently they're perfect balls after that? What? Okay, so I've got some sushi rice here and then I have this like seasoning with the sesame seeds in it, you know, for rice balls. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know if I should like stir it in or if I should like put a little bit in each... I don't know. We're gonna start by like spooning some rice in, some sushi rice, so it's like a little bit extra sticky. Like, I don't know how much to do. We'll try our best and see what happens. Might take a few rounds. Like just the idea of having like these tiny little rice balls is so exciting to me because all of the ones I've made in my life are like huge. Close her up. And then, okay, wait, wait, let's, let's see if this works. Please work, please work, please work. Oh my God, it's starting to work. Oh my God, like totally, like sure. <gasps> oh my God, it's so cool. Okay, this one's kind of bad. I'm gonna keep shaking it. I'm actually going to use this thing in my everyday life. Sully, Jessica, you dirty little woman. Okay, now we're gonna take these little rice balls out, put them in our bento. Oh my goodness, such a beautiful green. Okay, I wanna make a couple more. I really like this TikToker in particular because she makes a lot of meals that like I would have died for when I was in school. I always ask my parents to like give me like like a normal lunch, like a sandwich and a juice box because I, you know, didn't want to get embarrassed of what I was eating. I didn't want to like open my big like fish curry. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like 2020 is a different time and you can just like bring whatever you want. I could have been a trendsetter, but I was a bit of a coward, so. Gorgeous. Rice balls, yeah! There's like two rice balls in this one. How did that happen? <laughs> I'm gonna try to shake it even more. Come on! <sighs> Hot day, fanning myself off. I'm just keeping my teeth cool. Okay, I, I feel like this bottom one is like defective because like these two top ones are always perfect and the bottom one is trash, but you know what? I can deal with that. Gorgeous. What do you think, only friend? What do you think about that? Why are you so worried about the camera? You're a weirdo. So what's that next step? I can't believe the rice balls. Okay, so the next thing she's gonna throw in there is some seaweed. What kind of lunch has seaweed on the side? Like seaweed is fun to eat on the side? I don't know, I, I, that sounds good to me. Okay, so she puts like roasted nori and kimchi. And if you've never had roasted nori before, like I like it so much better than chips. It's a lot healthier. I was like glad to see this in there cause didn't even have to buy any cause I already have them in the house. So I'm gonna like throw these and the kimchi and like the same one, I think. If they go in here, then the kimchi is gonna make it soggy. But the cool thing about this meal is like how healthy it is. Like you're getting your rice, you're getting your seaweed, you're getting your fermented cabbage in the kimchi. Her kids have a very healthy palate. But if you like these things, like I can't think of anything better than like this combination of foods. I mean, I feel like it like looks gross if you don't know what it is, but it's definitely an acquired taste and it's definitely the perfect side. So we got our sides. Like that's a lot of sides. That's good variety. We love good variety. Kartha Gewert loves it. Only friend. What could possibly be next to make this meal better? Imitation crab sticks. Really excited to try this cause like, I don't know about that. So the ones that Jessica has are like really beautiful and actually look like real crab. I have a feeling that these just, oh, these are straight up like individually wrapped. I don't love children, but I love how adorably simple their palettes are. I have this guy as like a little fork for it, so you don't have to touch it. I mean, I'm touching it right now, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Keeping it sanitary for the kids, because you can't count on a kid to wash his hands before lunch. Gotta take care of my little youngins. Yeah. Now we're cutting some strawberries into hearts. 
I'm still a little bit nervous about strawberries ever since the whole microscopic bugs thing, but they're just too delicious to not eat. I didn't watch like exactly how Jessica does this, but that looks more like pants <laughs> than it does a heart. The kids need to be able to know. They need to be able to know that it's a heart and that you love them Otherwise, they won't know. Otherwise, they'll be sad. Don't be sad! You're gonna get some strawberry scraps! Scraps are his favorite food. A little messed up, but they look like hearts to me. Little spider for stabbing. And then we're gonna finish her off with a mango pudding. Ooh. I know. I've actually, I don't think I've ever had one of these. Me neither, I've been looking at them. I've been eyeing, yeah, I've been eyeing them up for a long time. Never thought to try one. The note. Absolutely stunning. Have a good day at school. Huh. It's all in the box. It's like a surprise box, isn't it? Time to try it! Okay, so Jessica was saying that her kids love eating rice balls with kimchi. Um. I kind of wish I packed chopsticks, but whatever. It's just kind of hard to like lift these puffs up. Okay, there we go. That's a perfect rice ball. Look at all the seaweed. I'm kind of averse to rice without soy sauce, but like there's so much like seaweed and stuff in here that maybe it'll be good. It's good. Kimchi with a rice ball. Oh, oh, what a combo. Seaweed. Oh, oh, what a combo. Crab stick. Okay. All right, you know what? Okay. I never thought that somebody could make me like imitation crab, but this is legitimate. Strawberry heart? I can't even eat strawberries anymore. <gasps> oh, Ugh. okay, well that was good. Mango pudding. I have to use the utensils pack, so I have to use one of these. Oh look, pudding, ah! Oh no, please, please, I'm too young. <laughs> he will not be missed. Okay, yeah, definitely pack a spoon because this is a disaster. It's all over my crab. <laughs> Mom. Mommy. Oh, I got the note as a reminder. It actually makes me feel better because if I fail, I know it was destiny. So I, Kate, give me a spoon. Nice. Mango pudding. It's all right. I'd like if I was a kid. Well, this is 10 out of 10. 10, like 15 out of 10 lunch. Absolutely insane. Like 900 IQ, fantastic. If you're not sure of rice ball, kimchi, and nori sheet, you gotta try out. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Oh, oh. This might be the best pescatarian thing you could possibly eat. This is the happy meal. This next one, she's a good one. This is pho. So I've got the airtight bento box instead of the last one that we used. Cause like with this one, if you close it, there's liquid in it, the liquid's not going anywhere. You kind of got to try to make sure, especially if you're not separating the broth in a different thermostat. So I've got some rice noodles here. Therm oh. So these are rice noodles. These cook pretty quickly. Usually for pho, uh, it's like a flat rice noodle, but these are, uh, these are, you know, they're, they count, kinda. I was going to go through the effort of making pho for this video, but you have to like boil bones overnight. Pho, I feel, is like one of those things that you get a really good deal on when you go to a restaurant for it because like it's so much preparation and you can get a bowl of it for seven bucks. I don't know, it's one of the most delicious things you can eat. If you don't really know what it is, it's Vietnamese noodle soup. The broth is so nice. Such a nice, light, complex, beautiful snack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the, ooh. Oh, gonna put the noodles in here. Don't eat that only, friend. That's not for you. We got the noodles, some beef. Pho is very carnivorous. It's like beef, bone broth. It's so fun to eat, especially after you've had a long night because like, Everything about it is so delicious and every so often you get a nice bite of meat, it's delicious. I actually prefer raw beef in my pho and like have it cook in the soup, but you can't have everything. Some cilantro. I like to throw Thai basil in too, but I couldn't find any. And then just like a touch of green onion. I feel like there's two types of people in this world. People that put bean sprouts in their pho and people who don't. I'm one of the people who definitely doesn't. I'm gonna throw some broth in. Oh yeah, imagine opening your lunch to this. My only concern with this is that I feel like it would get soggy by lunchtime, but it's what Jessica did and I trust her. And then she's doing strawberry hearts again, but I think that I'm gonna try to do something crazy with this watermelon, with this here watermelon. Look at, this is the perfect watermelon. I just wanna see if I can like peel the skin off this watermelon. I don't know why, I just wanna know what it looks like. Oh, hey, it worked. Have you guys seen the hacks videos of people like using a razor to peel a watermelon? Like why would anybody ever peel a watermelon? I just think that this looks really cool, but it's not long enough. Oop. 
Do you know the rind is actually completely edible? I wanna make these little watermelon shapes and like give them little haircuts. <laughs> skinning a watermelon is hard. We've been skinning things a lot in videos lately. In the McDonald's video, I told you guys not to look up degloving and all of the top comments were, oh, I searched it on Google Images and I hate you. And I was like, that's on my phone, I told you not to. Whoa, that is a clean peel. Wow. Okay, that's good. I think we got it. Ooh. Time to do some watermelon stuff. Oopsie. Oh, okay. Speaking of things you shouldn't Google, don't Google what watermelon sugar. Hi. Means. Otherwise, you'll watermelon sugar buy. Out of here. It's a chipmunk. Cool. Wait, let's get this UFO involved. Ah. Although, I don't see how a UFO could have hair, but. We'll do our best. Look at him, he's like, I used to live here. Put a little hat on him. Look at him, doesn't he look cool? Elephant, bear. This elephant's pretty perfect. And this fish uh, leaves something to be desired, but he's trying his best. I noticed that in Jessica's TikTok, she was like, don't worry, like I don't waste the leftovers. Like I, I always eat them. And it's like, I've never seen someone who loves her kids so much be so apologetic. People really do be looking for reasons to be upset. Okay, can I just say that every time I try to make something really cute, it looks maniacally evil. Like this is terrifying. We know that the rind has vitamin C in it. So we're just gonna try to get our kids to eat their absolutely terrifying bear snack. It kind of looks like he's holding this guy hostage. Whatever, let's just keep making this lunch. All right, that was a disaster. I really thought that this like little UFO with the stripe was kind of cool though, but the stripe's a little too dark. Okay, so after the fruit gets in, you feel bad that you scared your kids so, so badly. So you want to compensate with some treats. We've we got little mini Oreos here, and we got these like little guys with like little pictures on them. Like, one of these is a little hand. It's saying, "Stop." Get Just some help. help. And these little babies, the little baby Oreos. And then these little baby star rice crackers. That's fun to eat, right? You just want a lot of like crunchy sides with your pho because your fruit ain't all that crunchy. In case you want a little extra garnish, I mean, I never know how much you want. Put the green onion right in the center there. Whoops, I got marker all over my skirt. Unlucky, I was just trying to write my kid a little note. Now I'm mad, I'm gonna take it out on him. A flawless, stunning, impeccable, gorgeous lunch. Really set your watch to. That's kind of a mean note. Huh? It's kind of a mean note. It's a good, it's a countdown. Everyone likes a good countdown. Time to try my pho. Whoa! Instant pho is good. All it needs is pepper and hot sauce. With the rest of these things, I pretty much know how they taste already, but they do look gorgeous. Although I should probably taste the watermelon with the rind, hey? Okay, bear, say your prayers and good night. I'm just gonna bite his head off. You've done enough evil in our universe. Get out. Mmm. Mmm! Rice cracker. Perfect. Oreo. We know how it's gonna taste. It's gonna be good. Mm. I don't know what this thing is, but it's from the Asian supermarket. Must be good. Oh, it's got chocolate in the center. What did I expect? 10 out of 10. I seem easy to please, don't I? But like legitimately, these lunches, like the reason why I'm obsessed with making these lunches is because they never steer me wrong. I close the pho bento. I'm gonna check how water tight this actually is. I'm walking to school. I'm walking to, well, I'm walking to Zoom. I'm walking to Zoom. Having a good time walking to Zoom. Let's open up this lunch and see what happens. Didn't go anywhere. Okay, we can move on to the next one when you're ready. Okay, this next one is like lazy to the extreme, but it kind of seems good even though I don't like potatoes. So you take your potato, you cut it. You cut like big slivers in it. This is actually a sweet potato because um, just regular potatoes I really have an aversion to. So I'm hoping this might be better. Bake this at 350 for an hour so it gets like perfectly soft and easy to cut. Then we're gonna do some magic. Oh my goodness, that actually smells good. What the heck? Okay, my knife is not sharp enough, but you get the idea. Okay, so we're cutting it like this because in between certain segments, you put butter so it melts. These kids are about to lose it. They're gonna be like starchy vegetables, my fave. This is like buttering the inside of a turkey for Thanksgiving. I like to slide the butter under the skin. Sounds really gross, but you gotta sometimes. That is good. Okay, I'm gonna like just, I'm just gonna shove it in. Salt and pep, 
Now, I've never really seen the appeal of baked potatoes. That being said, this is like my first time. Because every time I've had them, it's just not, it's just not my thing. But this just seems like such a fun and interactive way to eat. Adorable. I thought he drowned in the mango pudding. He did. Orange, preferably mandarin, because there are seeds all over this. Bing, bang, bong. Blueberry, put a strawberry heart on the bottom. Not ideal. This is what you pack for movie night. You ready to eat? Gulp and blow, Momo. What the heck does that mean? You know, gulp and blow. No. It's time to try the eating food of butter and potato. She loves it. She's, you can see the disappointment in her face that she never eats potatoes and she's just wasted so much time not eating potatoes. No. Oh. Uh, I just don't like potatoes. I just don't think they're good. I like rice. This to me is just not it. It tastes like baby food. You're eating with a baby spoon. That could be it. Maybe this. This is a little bit more mature. Yeah, eat with the bare crotch. The best part is the butter. If you like potatoes, uh-huh, this is for you. Next. The last one we're doing is the David Dobrik lunch by Selhi Jessica. So she really packs the wings in. Like she tries to fit as many as possible because this isn't for a young boy. This is for a man. I really admire people who have control with these metal chopsticks because I can't relate. Okay, and then we do some ranch. I think I'm gonna put the ranch in here. I'm gonna put the orange slices here. And she was pretty cute, gave him a birthday cake. So I'm gonna dedicate more space to that cake because if it's your birthday, like you kind of deserve a whole cake. And then on the side with the ranch, I'm gonna like put some gummies and hope that they- some Jolly Ranchers? Yes. Yeah. Get it? Do you get it? No, I don't. Your ranch with the Jolly Ranchers. Oh my goodness. Why didn't I think of that? Because you're not smart. Not very smart. <laughs> ranch with Jolly Ranchers. A delightful treat. This is for stabbing the orange. This is for stabbing the cake. This is some, oh, candle. <laughs> not gonna be able to close that. I kind of feel like we know that these buffalo chicken wings with ranch dip are gonna be good. You didn't like the candle. Oh, okay, I get it. What a lunch. Now we know what's gonna be good. Terry, you wanna do the honors of eating this? Cause I just ate all day. Sure. Wow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Wish my mom loved me. Okay, you can't tell people your wish, otherwise it's not gonna come true. Now eat. I know. Uh, just gonna put this on my mom's note, cause. Okay, that's so toxic. The note was toxic in the first place. You're toxic in the first place. And she puts these traps in my food. <laughs> so you have to be aware of those Hey, too. if my little kids can do it, you can do it. Nice? Mm-hmm. Okay, now try the cake. Try the cake. Try the cake. Nice? Yeah, but it had a little barbecue sauce on it. Okay, that's enough. After the tasting, Terry concluded that the Jolly Rancher gummy is probably the best part. They're good. Sometimes I feel like I don't really want to have children, but then I think about making their food, their lunches, bento boxes. It's like food art to me. It's creativity. And I know that I keep blowing smoke up Jessica's butt, but she's good at what she does and I love recreating what she makes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I'll see you on the next one. Let me know what your favorite lunch was. Bye.